Bob, when you first came, it was primarily Meniere's, right, that brought you in? Vertigo is a symptom of Meniere's, yes. Right, and uh, I remember when you first came in that you couldn't even lay down. After we would, we would check you seated, we would adjust you seated, and then you would basically sit for a little while because every time you went back you had all the symptoms and stuff. Prior to coming here, how long had you had the symptoms? Well, I had them severely for about four months. Okay. It all started the first of the year and I came here around March. Okay, and what all did you do prior to that? You went to, obviously, your medical doctor. I went to three NT doctors, uh, two in Fayetteville where I live and one at Duke, and they all told me the same thing, that they couldn't help me, that Meniere's was not curable, and basically handed me some pills and said good luck. Wow, I'm glad you didn't listen to them. So, <laughs> so where are we at now? You've been coming now. You, you had to come, you come from Fayetteville, it's a pretty good hike, so yeah. you usually come up on a, usually a Monday, get checked Monday night, and then Tuesday morning before you went back typically, right? right. So we didn't, we, it took us a little bit longer because we had a little slower process right. with you coming in once a week, but uh, so where are we at now after all the, after the time's passed? Well, um, as of the probably mid-July, uh, I've been symptom free, uh, no vertigo, no medication, and uh, I, one of the other symptoms, or a couple of the symptoms, was uh, the ringing in the ears, mm -hmm. and I had a fullness in my right ear where they, I had the hearing loss. And uh, again, since mid-July, I woke up one morning, probably middle of July, and the fullness was gone. Nice. And uh, the pressure, which was amazing, because I'd, I'd had that for about six months straight, and it was that was more irritating than the ringing in the ear. Oh, I bet. And then when I got up that morning, I took a shower, and I was expecting it to come back, it hadn't come back yet, so awesome. it's been almost a month. That's and, awesome. Uh, my, the ringing in the ear has diminished almost a noticeable amount, and the uh, my hearing is coming back in my right ear. Beautiful. All right, awesome. So I'm glad you didn't listen to your medical doctors because uh, for every effect in the universe there is a cause. You just have to find the right cause. In his case, it happened to be uh, the first bone in his neck was out of place was putting pressure interfering with the messages from the ear to the brain. So it distorted his hearing, threw his balance off, and created the ringing, which are the three symptoms associated with uh, Meniere's. And uh, I'm glad you were willing to take the drive to get here, uh, to get checked, and uh, all in all, it works out great. So I appreciate you coming in, and anything else you wanna say? No, I would just say that uh, I was a skeptic when I first came here. <laughs> and when I walked in, I saw uh, expect miracles and I said yeah right because I've been to so many doctors so many places acupuncture everything you can imagine to get help and uh, after you gave me my first adjustment that day um, my, my my vertigo didn't go away but it it greatly improved yeah. and I knew that I was I was at the right place that's awesome well, I've totally gotten better since so well I so it, if you're a skeptic you heard it right here from Bob just uh, give us a call come in let us prove it to you right so thanks for sharing your story yes, with sir. us. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you for your help.